Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in to the video in this 2016 Hyundai Tucson. This particular Tucson is the SE trim level. It's one of the more affordable trim levels from Hyundai, but still has a lot of the basics and a little bit of the extras that you would expect in a modern day vehicle. It does have the alloy rims, backup camera, Bluetooth, and full power seat. We'll go through some other uh, features that it has as we go around. First off though, I want to say this car has a rather unique story. It is a uh, local trade-in. Uh, it was actually traded with some engine issues um, that we submitted to Hyundai. Hyundai uh, wound up putting an entirely new engine in the car. Uh, so it has a completely new block, or excuse me, a used block, but a completely new valve train. So the solid piece of the motor is a used piece, but then every moving component of the entire engine, cams, valves, all that stuff is all brand new. Um, so you're basically dealing with a essentially a new engine. Uh, pistons, rings, valves, like I said, uh, pretty cool on that. It's a 60 some thousand mile car but your engine's essentially starting over from zero and that was done completely uh, by a Hyundai shop uh, with all the Hyundai approved parts. So pretty cool story behind this vehicle. Uh, a lot of value in that uh, in and of itself. Uh, starting off the front here, you do have a, a nice looking alloy rim mounted up with a uh, Hankook Optimo tire. These tires are probably two thirds tread or better. Do have the uh, painted mirror caps, door handles, uh, matching Hankook Optimo tire and rim in the back there. All of your Hyundai, Tucson, and all-wheel drive badging here in the back. If you look up under here, you can also see where your backup camera's mounted. Continuing up this side, open up the driver door here. Obviously your power windows, locks, and mirrors are located in the standard fashion there on the door as well as the child window lockout button. Uh, driver's seat that I was talking about it is a full power seat so the base seat can go forwards, backwards, as well as moving up, down, and tilting back and forth. Back of the seat can go backwards and forwards and the lumbar support can adjust in and out. You do have a tilt wheel here. Helps you get comfortable in the seat. You can adjust that driver's seat a lot and the uh, wheel can tilt as well. Just really get yourself comfortable for those long trips. The car does have two keys with it from the factory. Um, they're about uh, $250 a piece. We do include with two keys with everything we sell here. Uh, previous owner did put a CompuStar remote start on it. Um, all you do is hit the lock button on your regular remote, hold this down, car remote starts. So nice little feature there. Um, even though it is aftermarket, we left it on because everything functions properly and it's a uh, nice thing to have. Firing it up. Obviously everything sounds good there. Lights all go out, there we go. Has 63,147 miles on it, although the engine's got uh, about 100. Um, so really uh, kind of a neat feature there of that. Uh, all of your Bluetooth controls as well as your volume controls are on the left-hand side of the vehicle, or on the left-hand side of the wheel. All of your cruise control items and menu navigation on the right-hand side. Looking at your center stack, um, hit the radio button here. So you have FM radio, turn this down. Uh, FM radio, AM radio, as well as satellite radio through XM. Uh, available there. Now, if you go to phone, you can pair uh, Bluetooth from your phone to the car. You can use that to bring your phone calls over the car's audio, or also your um, music from your phone can also go over the audio of the car there. Uh, cancel that. Throw it in reverse here real quick. Pretty nice, uh, clear backup camera there in that center screen. Coming down to the climate section, all pretty much standard climate controls. You do obviously have air conditioning, front and rear uh, defrosters there, um, and all of the standard functions you expect. Two 12 volt power supplies down here for charging your portable electronic devices, and then an auxiliary and a USB in to bring audio into the car via those means. Um, transmission selector, some nice cup holders, little storage spaces here for coins or keys, things like that. Um, have your hill descent control, your drive modes. You can either have eco drive mode, sport drive mode, or normal. Uh, sport's just going to enhance your throttle response a little bit. Eco is going to dampen it out. Um, it's really not a whole lot of difference other than just how the car responds to your foot pedal. Um, and your all-wheel drive lock um, button there. If you're in ice or snow or something like that and you want it to be all-wheel drive all the time, hit that button there. Nice center console storage. Taking a look in here, you can see your books in here. But more importantly, it's the results of the mechanical inspection that we did in our shop with all the measurements of all the wearables and anything that we did to it. So uh, actually came back from the Hyundai dealer with a fresh oil change. We did actually just go ahead and change the oil again uh, just because it's a you know, break-in engine and it had about 150 miles coming back. So we just changed it again, even though it was fresh. Um, new air filter, engine air filter, 
Uh, coming over here, look in, you see the tires are all 932s. That's about 90% of the original tread depth on that tire, so they're basically brand new. And then we did replace all the pads and all the rotors. So your tires, brakes, and rotors uh, are all pretty much new. Lots of life left in those several years of normal driving. Um, so good to go on that front. Last part of the video here uh, is just going to be a quick walk around the outside of the vehicle to show you any cosmetic damage. I uh, did want to start though in here. There's something on this seat that we cannot get off. Um, it's uh, right there, but uh, not a huge deal, but did want to show that before we got out. Coming up front here, um, it's pretty clean. There are some spots you can see where there were some chips touched up. Coming across, a couple more down here. Some little guys on that bumper. Overall pretty clean. That wheel looks pretty good there, no scraping on it. Tending back to the side, really don't see any dents or scratches. Uh, nothing worth noting anyway. Um, little one right there. Wheel looks good there as well. Back here, now one thing you'll see on a lot of cars, and this one does have some of it, uh, on this rear bumper top here, from taking things in and out of the trunk, you can see there are some scratches. There's also some scratches in that cargo area from the things that were in there. But that's all super, super normal. Most used cars. License plate, your license plate will cover that line, so I didn't say anything about it. Um, continuing up this side, same story over here, really nothing to talk about. One touch up right there. Overall, it's a super cool car here because you do have pretty much a fresh engine, pretty well taken care of car, brand new wearable parts the whole way around. So you're getting a great value with this thing. Um, if you'd like to stop out and take it for a test drive, you can stop and see us at 21518 Great Cove Road in McCallsburg, Pennsylvania. Visit us online at thomasata.com or give us a call at 717-485-4224. Thank you very much for watching the video and I hope you found it to be informative.